Good evening children turn to page 115 of your english one book so in the last class we started with red eye and we did till the first paragraph of page 115 i'm sure you have understood till whatever we have done in the last class that is why i have got no query message from your part now look at the next paragraph emily didn't like red eye but i loved my snake I know that all snakes stick out their tongues to smell things but whenever I came around the tank red eye would rise up and stick his tongue out as if to say hello so by now we know that emily didn't like snakes she didn't like red eye as well although it was kept as a pet at their home but cindy loved red eye and cindy knows that all snakes stick out their tongues to smell things but she noticed something very strange about red eye that whenever she came around the tank where red eye was kept red eye would rise up its head and stick out its tongue as if it it is trying to say hello to her to cindy got it now next paragraph then one day a terrible thing happened when i went into my room after school i noticed that the top of the tank was slightly open red eye was gone i screamed at the top of my voice and mother came running into the room somebody left the lid of the tank and red eye is gone i shouted and one day a very bad incident happened that when cindy came home after school she saw that the top of the tank was slightly open and red eye was not there she shouted at the top of her voice and hearing her shout her mother came into her room and asked her what happened she shouted somebody left the lid of the tank and red eye is gone oh is that all mother said thankfully you gave me a scare then, <coughs> then mother said that is that all for what you are shouting you scared me with your sound next is that all is that all at this moment red eye is wandering around somewhere it could starve to death or a dog could get it i wanted to cry So Cindy got really angry when her mother said is that all because for her it was really a terrible thing that red eye is missing so she got really angry when her mother said is that all because it was not very easy for her to take it and many evil thoughts came to her mind that red eye might not be able to find her home i mean Cindy's home and come back or it could die out of hunger or a dog could bite it and thinking of all this she wanted to cry next at that moment emily came into the room you finally managed to get rid of red eye i yelled at her i hope you are satisfied i hope red eye crawls into your bed tonight so at that moment when all these things were happening emily came into the room seeing emily cindy started to shout at her that you must be very happy by now that you are free from red eye cindy also wished that red eye crawls into emily's bed that night next what do you mean emily said i didn't do anything i just got home from school i was not going to believe her Emily said that what do you mean why are you saying all this to me she said that she didn't do anything and that she was just home from school but Cindy was not going to believe her words next all right girls mother said we'll all look for red eye now seeing both the girls argue mother said that all right you stop now we'll all look for red eye together i am not going i am not looking for any snake said emily i started to cry 
Emily said that she is not going to help them look for any snake and she started to cry. Emily looked at me in surprise. You really like that snake, don't you? She said. Now Emily looked at Cindy in surprise then asked her, don't you really like that snake? Cindy said, of course I love my snake. And she sniffed. Now sniff is the sound made by a person who is crying when he or she breathes in air. Okay, like, <laughs> like that. Okay, when a person cries and when he or she breathes in air, this kind of a sound is made, isn't it? Okay, Cindy sniffed and she asked Emily that, what did you think? That I don't like my snake? Next, I thought you were keeping it just to be mean, said Emily. Emily said that, I thought you were keeping the snake just, just, just because you wanted to scare me or something like that. But Emily didn't know that Cindy loved her snake so much that, that she would go mad about the snake missing. Turn the page. I started to look for red eye. I didn't ever want to talk to my sister Emily again. Emily watched mother and me for a while and then she sighed. So Cindy started to look for red eye and she didn't ever want to talk to her sister Emily because according to Cindy it was Emily who had lost the snake. Now Emily watched mother and Cindy for a while and then she sighed. Sighed, you underline and write the meaning of it. Take a pencil. Have you underlined? Okay, write emit, E-M-I-T, emit, E-M-I-T, emit a long, L-O-N-G, long, emit a long comma deep d double e p deep breath b r e a t h b r e a t h breath expressing e x p r e double s i n g e x P R E double S I N G expressing sadness S A D N E double S sadness comma relief R E L I E F relief or O R or tiredness T I R E D N E double S T I R E D N E double S written emit a long comma deep breath expressing sadness comma relief or tiredness. So although Sydney didn't like snakes, she didn't like red eye, she also felt the loss of red eye somewhere very deep within her. Understood? Next. Well, if that snake means so much to you, I guess I'll help you, she said. Now, Emily said, Cindy, that if that snake means so much to you, then I think I'll help you to find it. Next, for hours we looked for red eye all over the house. We searched for it till dinner time. No red eye. So, all three of them looked for red eye for hours but there was no red eye next emily came over and put her arm around my shoulder shoulders i'm sorry cindy she said we'll search for red eye again after dinner you can't give up yet emily almost never touched me except to poke me it made me feel sad to think that she was really not a bad person and that I had never known it. So Emily came near Cindy and tried to console her that don't give up just yet because we are again going to look for red eye after dinner. At that moment, Cindy was very touched by Emily's words 
and she realized that Emily was not actually a bad person and that Cindy had always misunderstood her. Next, while mother, father and I were watching television later that night, we suddenly heard the most awful screams coming from the bathroom. We rushed in that direction and there came Emily running towards us. She was holding a bunched up towel in front of her. Even when she saw us, she didn't stop screaming, but she dropped the towel and out slid red eye. Later that night what happened when mother, father and Cindy were watching TV, they could hear the most awful scream coming from the bathroom and that scream was of Emily. Emily was shouting out of fear and she was running towards her parent and she was holding a bunched up towel in front of her and she was so scared that she didn't stop screaming even after seeing her parents. Then she dropped the bunched up towel and from there from therein slid out red eye. Where was red eye hiding all through the day? It was hiding in the bathroom closet. Next paragraph. It took a while but we finally calmed Emily down and she told us that she had opened the closet door in the bathroom and there was the carter snake snuggled among the towels. When Red Eye saw Emily, it started to move. Emily knew that if she didn't get hold of it, it would get away. So Emily was so much shaken by the whole thing that it took a while for mother, father and Cindy to calm Emily down. And Emily said with her shaky voice that when she had opened the closet door in the bathroom, she saw the garter snake there snuggled among the towels. That means, that means it was lying there making a very comfortable position of its own among the towels. And when Red Eye saw Emily, it started to move. And just then Emily got hold of it, otherwise it would get away. So only to please her sister Cindy, Emily got hold of Red Eye. So we all know that Emily didn't like snakes. She was very scared of snakes. But only to see a smile on her sister's face, she took this step, isn't it? It was so kind of her, see? Next paragraph. After I got my snake back into the tank, safe and sound, I thanked Emily. She shuddered. I knew it had been hard for her to touch a snake and I knew she had only done it for me. When spring comes around, I am going to take Red Eye back to the farm and set it free. It will be safe and happy there and it will never have to try to escape again. It's the least I can do for Red Eye and for Emily. At last, Cindy showed her gratitude for Emily. She thanked Emily because she knew that Emily had only done that for her. Later, Cindy promised that when spring comes around, she is going to take Red Eye, Red Eye back to her uncle's farm and set it free there so that it need not have to try, try to escape again. And that is the least thing that Cindy could do for her sister and especially for Red Eye. Got it? In the next class, we'll do the word meanings and question and discuss the question answers. Okay? Thank you.